All right, I was going through the toolbox, getting reorganized, and I ran across something that I thought I'd share. I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, test leads, and I'll show you in a minute why they're special or different. I don't remember, I got them off the tool truck, and it says ES. Whoever ES is, is who made them. But anyway, they're, they're test leads, you go in your meter, but there's one difference. You can separate it and the ends are magnetic so you know like we used to work a lot on genies you know the the man lifts and when we went to genie school they really like these test leads because the good thing about it is you can just go ahead and you know right there you know they're you know whatever that's your say this is your ground right you're always looking for a ground and you know, sometimes you can't find a spot, whatever, but with these, there it goes. Anything that's magnetic, it takes a ground. Okay, downfalls. Uh, let me see if I can do it. See all that metal? You gotta keep them clean, super clean. And you'd be surprised how much metal debris gets on these magnets and it gets on both ends because here's the other end right and it's the other part so the both you know you have to blow them out clean them out you just have to constantly maintenance but the good thing about it is is like you know you use your hot put it in your meter you know and you want your your ground try and do it one-handed try and do your ground pull it apart boom magnetic test leads For whatever reason, the instructor at Genie thought they were the cat's meow. You know, greatest thing since butter on bread. So I bought some. And, you know, they, they, they did okay. But one day I was doing some, some measuring. And unfortunately, I didn't verify... I just got a reading using these, using the magnet part on the on the ground. You know, you know, I did my part right. You know, go ahead and touch it metal somewhere else. You know, you, with your ohms, and my ohms was uh, 0 0.02. It was really low, but it gets back to voltage dropping, right? You can have continuity. It doesn't mean you're gonna flow electricity. Um, and unfortunately. Because I believed in these things because of what someone told me. I made the mistake of calling for a $2,600 engine harness. And we got the harness installed and the same thing happened. And it was because of these. Um, maybe I should have scraped the paint off. But then again, if you're going to have to scrape the paint, then why do you want these, right? But... But anyway, I'm pretty sure they have a place somewhere. But in my book, that's why they're in the garage. A museum piece is what I call it. And that's what they're going to be. They're going to be put away. And someday somebody will go through my stuff and they'll say, Oh, look at these. What's so special about them? And they might own them for years and not realize that they come apart. And there's a magnet at the end to make it quicker. Anyway... Something different, something I haven't seen is these test leads that are magnetic. Let me see, they're magnetic. They keep pulling back together. They're magnet ends, you know, like I just showed you. Anyway, anybody else ever run across these? Anybody ever use these? Anybody ever throw these across the shop after they burned you like I did? Hey, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.